watched my BeautyCon LA vlog, um, I vlogged the owner of Velvet59 talking about her products. So if you guys already watched that, I'm just going to show you guys the products that she gifted me. And if you haven't watched that vlog, I will either try to link it below or link it at the end of this video or something so that you guys can actually see the owner of this company talk about the products. I felt like that was the best way to get you guys the best information about the company, how it's made, all of that stuff. So I'm going to start off with this palette because it is what is on my eyes today. It's called the Exotic Lotus Palette. And what I liked about it was it was colors that I normally probably would never buy because they're very kind of like reddy kind of colors. Um, but I actually really liked it. So like I said, that's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. Today I used this color, this color, this color, and then I mixed these two. So I used all of them except for these two. And they just go on so beautifully they blend nice very nicely pigmented and I've had this on now for I want to say about seven hours and it's doing pretty good still on my face so that is the exotic lotus palette so the next thing I have on my face today is one of these um, liquid lipsticks matte to the max she gave me two of them and the one I'm wearing today is called Gigi and I really like this color because it is a really kind of natural rosy color Now they go on quite wet and then they dry to this beautiful like matte color And I've had this on probably for about five hours and that's what it looks like on the skin and Most liquid lipsticks I find to be way too drying now this one does feel a little bit more matte But it hasn't dried out my lips and my lips were kind of pretty dry to begin with so I really like that color like I said that one's called Gigi and the other one is called Kylia show you guys that one too and this one is a gorgeous kind of orangish reddish like pinup kind of girl and there's you guys can see they're so pigmented and so pretty I think in the video at BeautyCon I think this is the one that she said that she was wearing on her lips and it's just so so gorgeous now the other three lip products are called uh, velvet rose lip glosses and you guys um because i majored in design i really really love packaging and these packages are so gorgeous with the rose gold but you guys the actual cardboard is kind of velvety i know that sounds weird but it feels almost suede like and i'm just i'm just so impressed with stuff like that for the Okay, so this one is called Teenage Dream. And this one is kind of like a dark plum color with sparkles in it. And the applicator is um, a little brush and it goes on. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you know, it's transparent. The smell of these kind of remind me of Aveda products, which is super nice and kind of like fresh. Okay, this one is called Hello Cat, and it's this pretty kind of baby pink color. I put this in the weirdest part of my arm. So these are super thick. It's making my arm hairs kind of stand up. But you know, like I said, they are not super opaque. It's more of a gloss. So that one would look really pretty over like a nude lipstick. And the next one is called Marilyn's Pearls. It's very vintage inspired and I really thought it was cute because at the booth, um, the girls that were working there were wearing like satin dresses and the guy was wearing like a full on tux. Okay, this one is a pink with like pink um, opalescent kind of glitters. You guys can't really see that on my arm, but, but basically that's what they look like. I love gloss, so more gloss the merrier. Now I love gloss, so I love that. Okay, now this is called the Malibu Sunset Collection. What is this? It's called Topanga. I think this is a lipstick. And like I said, the packaging on this stuff is just so gorgeous. Okay, how pretty is this? So pretty. And then this is like the perfect nude color. Super, super excited about that. Okay, and then the, ooh, there's other stuff hidden. There's one more gloss here called Noisette and that is like a nude color there's no glitters in that one 
And then there's another lipstick and it's called PCH, which stands for Pacific Coast Highway for those of you who are not from the Southern California area. And that is a gorgeous pinky nude, which is really nice. Ugh, these lipstick cases, I swear. So gorgeous. I just feel like it's in the details, guys. Okay, so the last thing is this contour palette and she mentioned in the video that this is the only one of its kind that is a cream to powder contour palette. And this is what it looks like. So there's kind of a highlight color there and then the rest of them are matte. I love that there's so many colors that you can kind of like mix them together and get your perfect contour and highlighting shade. So I am super, super excited like that. You guys, this is vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, and paraben-free.